guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my current beauty favorites. I went ahead and refilmed the video because I told you guys the first time I filmed it, it looked crazy with my one lash and I could not play myself like that in these streets, y'all. I just couldn't do it. So I am refilming that video today. And also, I'm using a different camera and I'm trying to figure out the camera settings. So if the products look blurry in this video, I apologize. I cannot figure out how to get myself and also get the products focus at the same time I have tried everything and I cannot figure it out so I may get a new lens for my camera so again using a new camera I'm trying to get better quality videos for my channel and yeah it's my first time actually filming this video with this camera I'm just using a camera in general so again if the stuff look blurry I apologize um, I'm still trying to like figure out the camera settings and everything so if you guys want to see my current beauty favorites, and of course, let's get started. All right, so starting off, I do have three eyeshadow palettes in front of me. The first one is going to be the Makeup Obsession Bill Jordan eyeshadow palette, you guys. When I say I am in love, like in love with this eyeshadow palette, first of all, the color scheme in this palette is amazing. It's definitely like my kind of colors in terms of what a well-rounded palette should look like. You have your purples, you have your burgundies, you have your gold colors. They also gave you a black, and that black is so easy to blend and just like apply in like the outer V. Y'all, this palette is like, honestly, like my perfect palette. So if you haven't checked it out, get your hands on it. It is not patchy, it's not powdery. Um, it's just a perfect palette palette everything blends out nicely it's super pigmented and I just I just really enjoy this palette so definitely check it out you can get it at Target or of course their website so definitely check this palette out I also have the um, elf bite size eyeshadow palettes I did do a video with this palette when I did my full face of elf if you haven't seen it I will have it in my description box we got to check it out but I did use the very bad eyeshadow palette which looked like this I'm sorry I'm not holding the product up close because as you can see it's kind of blurry that way so I got to keep it back here. Um, but here is what this one looked like. I did tell you guys it was a really awesome palette in terms of the price point. It cost $4 and the colors in here are super pigmented. They blend out really nice. You do get four shades. So in this particular palette you get two shimmers and two mattes. I wish they had like a brown or something but for the color scheme it works out really well so love this palette I think it's very beginner friendly because it pretty much takes the guesswork out of the palette for you in terms of an actual eyeshadow look so again you have like your shimmer shades your matte shadows and you can pretty much create different looks with this one palette so definitely check it out um, I also picked up the bite size eyeshadow carnival candy palette I wanted to get my hands on this one originally the first time I bought the palette, but I bought this one first. And I told you guys in that e.l.f. video, if this one works out good, then of course I'll get my hands on this one, which I did. I did create my eyeshadow look using this palette, and I also used um, another palette. So I do have the blue on my bottom lash line. I have this brown color in my outer V, and I also have this brown color as my transition color. So I do have this palette on my face. Um, but I also use another palette in conjunction with it. So I will say with this palette, you do get kicked back with the two brown colors in the middle. Um, you do get kicked back with these two colors. However, the shimmer shade is pressed really good. But the two mattes, you do get kicked back. So if that bothers you, keep that in mind. But again, for the price, it just kind of feel like for $4, if the quality and the pigment is there, I don't really mind. Um, but somebody else might mind. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Also, my last palette is going to be the Milani palette. I have the Most Wanted Burning Desire palette number 130. Um, here is what this palette looked like. I did use this in a full phase of Drugstore First Impressions and I was so impressed with this palette. I can honestly say out of all of my palettes that's new from 2020, this palette is the only palette across the board where the matte and the shimmer shades perform amazing because in the, most of the new palettes, either the shimmer does well, but the mattes don't, and then the matte perform, but then the shimmer don't. So I feel like this palette truly performs across the board, shimmers and matte. And these shimmers in here, you don't even have to wet your brush. I actually used that gold color in my video on my lid and I did not have to wet my brush to get the intensity of the actual pigment. It was just intense on its own. So check it out. It only costs, I want to say like $10. So definitely check this palette out. 
All right, so for face primers, I do have three face primers in front of me. Um, these two are a pair together. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It's a water drop primer in the rose scent. And I also have the Photo Focus 3-in-1 spray. You guys have seen me use this product, I don't know how many times on my channel, but y'all, it is a bomb product. It just leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and prepped for my foundation routine. Um, they do have different scents like coconut, rose, and the cucumber. So if you don't like rose scents, get the other ones. But it's not anything that's too intense. And this spray for $5 is just a bomb spray. It mists out so perfectly. And I use this to pretty much either wet my brush, prep my skin, or to make any products that have my skin look powdery, not look so powdery. Just a really good spray and face primer. If you have oily skin, I would definitely say check it out as well because it's nothing that's too overly hydrating. It's just enough moisture in your skin to make it look really pretty. So love this. Then I also have the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. I did a review on this product as well. I do use this product mainly in like my T-zone area to just give it that nice glow. So pretty much where I would put concealer is where I put this product except for my forehead because I don't want it to be too bright. I told you guys this Luminous one does have like a gold tint to it. So if you don't like that, don't get it. They do have the version if you have oily skin. So they have the matte one and then they also have like the regular one. But I do have the luminous one because I have dry skin so again I just use it under my eyes right here on my chin and that's pretty much like a little bit on my nose and that's pretty much it and it's easy to blend out and I think it looks so pretty on the skin so love this product and then for foundation I only have one foundation it's going to be the wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation I have it in the color called toffee um it's not my correct color i told you guys i have to get my correct color online but i can make this product work for right now however in the summer it is not going to work because it's already too light now but i can make it work so this product is when i say probably the best product from wet n wild in my opinion the foundation is so dewy it looks really good on the skin and I think if you have dry skin you're going to love it a lot in terms of other radiant foundations this one to me is the most dewiest one on the market as of right now and I feel like once you apply your powders on your face it still looks really good because most foundations once you apply your powders it starts to look really like matte and flat this one you still get some kind of dew left on your face so it's not so like blah and I just think it blends out really nicely. It's more medium to full coverage, so you can definitely build this up. And I love the spatula on it, so you can pretty much just place the product wherever you want to put it. And it's super affordable, so it's pretty much like a win-win for everybody. So definitely check it out. People who have oily skin, I have seen them like this product too. So again, just try it out. Just see how you like it. If you don't like it, they have the original version. But I do think if you have dry skin, you're going to love this product a lot. Alright, so moving on into concealer. I only picked out one concealer. It's going to be the ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Creamy Concealer. I told you guys that I was pretty much like surprised by this product because it is so nice and like smooth and creamy under the eyes. It's not the creamiest concealer that I've tried, but it's definitely creamy in terms of being able to blend out. It's more medium coverage to me. Um, and it just looks so pretty under my eyes. Like It almost looked like radiant looking if that makes sense it doesn't look dry um this one does have in hyaluronic i want to say does it have in hyaluronic acid i think it does i think it does but anyways if you want a concealer that's going to be pretty much like radiant under the eyes but not too intense easy to blend out give you a nice coverage without looking too like intense give this product a try this combination with the wet n wild foundation i really enjoy this combination together a lot so love this product all right and then for my bronzer and my blush i do have the physicians formula butter bronzer in the color called sculptin bronzer you guys already know this product is not new on the market however they did release some deeper shades so i was able to get my hands on this at walmart and y'all this bronzer is so pretty i remember a couple years ago everyone just kept talking about it and i was like i want to try this product out too but they never made it deep enough for deeper skin tones and when I seen it at Walmart, I was like, this shade looked pretty promising and it actually shows up against my skin tone. It is so easy to blend out. It's not patchy. It's nothing that's too intense. It's a nice warm shade on the face. Like y'all, this, this bronzer is bomb and it smells amazing. I just wish their brand catered towards like your deeper skin tones in my opinion. I feel like they have like some products that work, some products don't work. So I'm, I'm almost like, 
do you want to use your products or no but <laughs> i do enjoy this product though for real for real and i think it's amazing and then it blends out really nice and it's probably my favorite bronzer in my collection for drugstore right now so love this and then for blush i have the always spicy blush from elf i told you guys they finally have this product in store before it's always online um it's going to be that really pretty terracotta color for your skin tone especially like your deeper skin tones it blends out so nicely you get a lot of product in this pan and it's super affordable so get this product if you haven't tried it because you are missing out again it's super pretty on the skin you guys have seen me use it before on my channel in my um makeup tutorial so you've seen it in action as well so definitely check this product out because again it's so gorgeous on the skin all right and then for highlighter I do have a, a revolution pro highlighter in the color called metal y'all this product is so amazing especially these two colors right here typically use this one the most but it looks so pretty on the skin it's not anything that's chunky glittery it's really smooth on the skin like when i say it's probably the smoothest new releases for highlighters that i've tried thus far it is so smooth and it's so pretty you can easily build up the intensity of the highlighter if you want to or just keep it minimal as well but y'all this product is definitely the one i have been reaching for in my collection for all makeup looks because i just love it all right and then i want to say i have a few more products left yes going into like my miscellaneous products i do have the believe beauty it's going to be the charcoal infused removing wipes y'all this wipe takes off everything everything i first got it in pr from them and i loved it so much that i actually bought it in store this is going to be my third one from them and it's super affordable i want to say it costs maybe four dollars five dollars but y'all it gets everything off like everything off it does not burn my eyes it's not too wet it's not too dry it's just the perfect the perfect wipe you can get it at dollar general but i promise y'all you're going to love it and this in conjunction with my palmer's um cleansing face oil is like a match made in heaven i got this one because my friend andrea was talking about it on her channel and i was like let me just give it a try and as you can see i have demolished this product it takes all your makeup off like when i say all your makeup off it doesn't burn my eyes it's not too oily it just feels gentle on the skin and i just love these two products together they work well on their own but together it's just perfect all right and then for my face lotion i do have the cetaphil daily hydrating lotion it's for dry extra dry skin you guys know i do have dry skin i like this product in the winter but i feel like in the summer it's going to be even better because it's a lotion consistency so i feel like for the winter it was good but it wasn't like amazing for the winter but i feel like because of that lotion consistency in the summer it's going to be like the perfect moisturizer it does leave my skin feeling moisturized and hydrated but i just think in the summer i'm going to love it even more compared to the winter but it's still a really good product if you don't have super 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 dry skin use it because it's going to be enough hydration for you so definitely try it out and then my last product is going to be the ultra lip rose hip oil lip gloss from the broadway brand i got this one at dollar general you guys when i say this lip gloss is only a dollar number one and it is so moisturizing hydrating and makes your lips look so luscious and just juicy and it actually lasts on your lips and it's not sticky at all either i was so impressed by this one that i bought three more and it's only a dollar like a dollar and i'm like you perform so well it does say it reduces fine lines on your lips and it moisturizes and heals and it has in vitamin a so again definitely check this product out because it's going to be a really bomb lip product for the summertime and it actually moisturizes and keep your lips feeling nice and like you know prepped and luscious and it does layer over other colors really well well other lip products really well so keep that in mind and yeah you guys that's pretty much my current beauty favorites hope you guys enjoy this video again i apologize i'm still working on my camera settings so if the products look blurry i apologize but i'm trying to move my channel towards like the better quality content so i have to figure out the camera that i'm using right now so yeah hope you guys enjoy the video if you do give it two thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye guys